What's up, guys? It's Ryan Give Me 2.0, and today we're gonna do Random Reviews episode 33. <laughs> Not today, we're gonna do. We're gonna do Class of 1999, which was suggested by. Let's see, hold on, where is he? It's here somewhere. Which, of course, was suggested by James Moss. Shout out to you, my friend. Yep, shout out to you. <clears throat> For suggesting this movie. So yeah, before we get to the video, please subscribe if you have not already. Comment down below. Comment down below a bad movie <laughs> that you guys just hate or just like want me to review. Who knows? I've already probably seen it. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, that'll be the comment of the the comment thing of the day. So yeah. Hey, this will probably go up later today or tomorrow. Meh, yeah, I guess it could go up by today. That sounds good. So yeah. So this was also suggested by James. We got James Moss. Shout out to you. Thank you for help supporting the channel. <clears throat> if you got any more suggestions, please comment down below. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now out of the video. Today we're going class of 1999, which is the 1990 sci-fi action. Robot movie. <laughs> yes, I went into it completely blind. Well, I knew what it was, but it's just like, yeah, I knew what it was, but I never, I didn't know what the plot was. So I went into it completely blind, not knowing what the plot was, and I was actually genuinely surprised. And I absolutely love this movie. It's like Terminator meets Mad Max. <laughs> well, sort of. <clears throat> yes, it's like about these killer teachers. In the year of 1999, even though the movie came out in 1990. Yes, which was nine years later, and we still haven't got cyborgs yet. If you don't know already, Night Class of 1999 is a sequel to Night to Class of 1984. So yeah, I guess it's a trilogy, but they don't make sense. <clears throat> Even though you could just watch any of them. Yes, I say three, because the next one is also on Tubi, which is Class of 1999 to The Substitute. <clears throat> yes. Which that takes place in 2000, I mean 2001. Originally when they released it, they were going to call it Class of 2001, but people did not want to get confused, so they just called it Class of 1999-2. The Substitute. <laughs> what a name. But anyway, Class of 1999, I really enjoyed this movie. If you love it as much as I do, then you could. If you love robot movies as the Terminator, like post-apocalyptic future, like Mad Max movies as much as I do, then you can watch this. It is good. I highly recommend it. It's free on Tubi. Okay, I don't want to get copyright. Yes. <laughs> That's why I did that, because I'm watching Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon. <laughs> what a stupid name. But anyway, back to the review. It's just, yes, this movie is surprisingly good. <clears throat> For 1990, it had a good budget of only five million, $6 million. And it really shows. And another movie with Malcolm McDowell. I knew he was going to make a return. He's very young in this movie because this movie came out in 1990, which was like 30 years ago. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, it's on Tubi if you want to watch it. It's pretty damn good. I highly recommend it. Yes, it's slow at times, but it's like, yeah. Overall, I give it an 8 out of 10 because it's like, it was a really interesting movie. About, st about high school students finding out that their teachers are robots. And trying to kill them because they tried to kill them by teaching them a lesson. So yeah. Uh, what else is there about it? Yeah, when, I'll cover the sequels eventually. They're both all three of them are on Tubi. Class of 1984, 1999, and 1999 too. The substitute is on Tubi. So please check those out <clears throat> because Tubi is awesome because they have really good movies. Yes, they do. They have lots of good movies and a lot of bad ones, but it's just like. It's a whole mixed bag. They have good movies on there and they have bad movies on there. So yeah. <coughs> Hell yeah, comment down a bad movie or just like whatever you guys want for me to watch. So so far I've watched two of the suggested movies from you guys and this is one of them. So again, shout out to James Moss for giving me this idea of this movie. Keep it coming because I want to watch stuff I've never even heard of or seen. Because I've technically heard of Class of 1999. How I heard about it was Movie Timeline. He did a video, a sci-fi timeline of it. And I was like, what is this movie? This looks good. And then I completely forgot about it. He made a video like like a month ago or something. Two, almost two months ago. 
I can't believe you forgot about it until James Moss posted the class of 1999. I was like, okay, sure, I'll give it a watch. So I did watch it. I don't know why it took me this long to watch it, to be honest. Tell me to review it. Yeah. Maybe that's what I'll do from now on. Maybe I'll just watch. Maybe I'll review any movie that I just watched recently. <laughs> Make a quick video, like ten, five, ten minute video on it. Yeah. So if you haven't already, please check out my previous <clears throat> video of the Polar Express because that is another classic Christmas movie. And then, so yeah, and also check out my three hour video, parts one, two, and three. Because my iPad could not handle it, so yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So the next video is going to be episode 34. Four? No, what is this? Yeah, 30. Yeah, this is 33, and the next one is going to be Pants That One. Don't worry, Jessica Haynes, I got you. Yes. So, be on the lookout for that. So, be on the lookout for that. I'm probably just going to record it today and then probably upload it probably tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good, actually. Or not. I don't know. Sure. And then I'll review all the movies that I've done in 2020, just like scatter them around through the year. <clears throat> because I've already done two on this channel already. <clears throat> so yeah, you've seen, yeah, maybe I should just change my channel to random reviews. Eh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Please check out my other Christmas videos like Home Alone, Fairy Odd Parents, uh, all of the other reindeer, Elf, The Silent Night, Deadly Night, Six Trilogy, Jack Frost 1 and 2, Santa Slay, Black Christmas, Santa Slay, and Elf. Yeah. So yeah, class of 1999, highly recommend it. 8 out of 10. I mean, it wasn't a perfect 10 because it's like, yeah, I really enjoyed it, actually. But it's just like 8 out of 10. It's like, it's not the best thing on the planet, but it's just like, it was a good alternative. Oh, looks like that episode's over. Cool. Let's see if I actually get the dub. Finally, I get the dub. <laughs> what I'm talking about is that, for whatever reason, on Hulu, it's just like, for whatever reason, just decided to give me the second episode of dub or in sub, so I had to change it to dub, and so now I... Got the third episode of Dub, which is great. I'm on season two as long to pick up girls in a dungeon. I'll probably be done with that probably next week. <clears throat> be on the lookout for that. Also be on the lookout for Totally Spies because I'm going to finish that tonight. Along with the movie. So be on the lookout for that. Those are the next few ones coming your way. Because from now on, I'll just review anything that I've finished. So yeah. No way, there'll be plenty more anime videos coming your way. So shout out again to James Moss <clears throat> for giving me this idea to do this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I can run this. Oh, well. Yeah. Shout out to him again. And I'll leave a link in his channel below. Please check him out. He's pretty good. <clears throat> he's a pretty cool guy. Of what I know. I don't know him in person, but he's pretty cool. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll leave a link in his, his channel below. So yeah, see you guys next time for what I do, Pan Slavabalance.